Now at five, a college football season like we've never seen before <laughs> ends tonight. The Alabama Crimson Tide will take on the Ohio State Buckeyes at Hard Rock Stadium. Things are a little different this mm -hmm. year. We'll soon know who the best team in college football is. CBS Force Mike Cuno joins us live from Miami Gardens with a preview of the big game. Mike. Yeah, guys, things are a little different, but still some pretty big names, celebrities and old players out here like, you know, Brady Quinn and Tim Tebow really let you know how marginal of an athlete you really were when you stand next to uh, these guys out here. But, yes, Ohio State going up against Alabama. This is a seven CFP national championship game. Alabama looking for their third title during that stretch and Ohio State trying to play spoiler. Miami, for the third time in 12 months, finds itself at the center of the football world. On the heels of the Super Bowl and the 87th Orange Bowl, it's now time to crown a college football national champion. The two teams left standing, Ohio State and perennial power Alabama. When this all started back in March and you know, told our players basically the team that shows the maturity to be able to handle disruptions or is going to have the best chance to be successful in the end. You could argue college football had more trouble dealing with the pandemic than any other sport. Ohio State was able to prove in just seven games that they belonged here, but just getting to Hard Rock Stadium isn't enough. No one ever talks about getting to the national championship. They talk about winning the national championship. You know, along the way, there are certain goals that you have to reach to get to this point. Uh, but the ultimate goal is to win this game. Bama is the betting favorite to win its 18th national title. They're favored by more than a touchdown. But the Buckeyes proved by beating Clemson they were physically tough. Now they want to prove they're up to the task mentally. You know, getting the games canceled, saying we're playing and saying we're not playing, you know, that, that messes with your mental. But, you know, just, just all the stuff that this team has been through and, and all the stuff that everybody has been through here is just, just you know, a big sacrifice just, just just for this moment so we're, we're just glad that we have the opportunity to play the glitz and glamour of winning a championship isn't just exclusive to the field of play the county and its leaders can't wait to have all eyes on the 305. Uh, because we're a tourist-based economy, we're suffering disproportionately from this pandemic. And, uh, you know, traveling, you have to be cautious, but those who can take the trip safely and get here for the game, they're helping us out, they're going to have a great time. It's a win-win-win. Yeah, we'll see who wins tonight. We're still waiting for fans to trickle in tonight. Only about 16,000 will be in attendance here. But, of course, this is a big game. It's a big city. Miami throws a party better than most people. And, uh, you know what, the secondary market is kind of a scary place for tickets right now. Somewhere between two and $3,000 if you're trying to get into this game. Uh, a little last minute. So it uh, should be a fun one out here. Kick off again at 8 o'clock. Guys, back to you. Hey, big price, but you got a lot of elbow room if you do get into the stadium. <laughs> Only 16,000 people. Yeah, you got you, you could you could you could spread, spread out, out, put your feet up, and you know relax. Yeah. Uh, Mike, thanks a lot.